Iowa caucus. Does that make sense? <laughs> Each candidate will get a total of about three minutes, right? Um, so we'll be cutting you off in around three minutes. You know, these days a lot of politicians are always talking about like democracy and American values and stuff. But what does that really mean, you know? Like you look at their voting record and the voting record says something that's completely different. However, Ron Paul, he's somebody who really stands behind what he says and his voting record's been consistent with everything that he believes. Uh, in terms of immigration, uh, he is in favor of ensuring that there's a construction of a fence on all of our borders with uh, Mexico and Canada. Now, there's a good chance that many of you haven't heard much about Dennis Kucinich. That's because, unlike every single other political candidate here, he does not accept bribes or campaign contributions from corporations. John Edwards has three main topics that he likes to confront. Health care, the people of the United States, and their fight against big business, as well as strengthening our school systems. He also has created, helped to create 20 national organized unions that have helped thousands to earn the right wages for what they do. He believes in helping families get ahead using bonds in order to ensure a more healthy America. Who here thinks they have the right to protect themselves? I do. <laughs> you do? Well, that's what John McCain does. He protects your Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. He opposes gun control. He votes to protect gun companies against third-party lawsuits from people using guns and say, oh, well, if this had never been made, well, then we should like attack the gun companies because they're the ones making guns. He feels that we should put international pressure on Syria and Iran for helping harboring and training insurgents and things like that. As president, one of Hillary's first official actions will be to drop a clear, viable plan to bring our troops home, starting within the first 60 days of her administration. Rather than concentrating on propping up the Iraqi government, foreign aid will be sent directly to Iraqi citizens, and the UN will be allowed to broker peace between parties. She plans on increasing access to high quality early education and helping to create an early Head Start program. He's going to create a global forum similar to Kyoto Accord that um, we can have a forum with all the countries where we can talk about climate change and saving energy. And that's all. Thank you. So this is how this works. For, for the first five minutes, we go into the first realignment phase. So your job is to get up and go to the place where you believe that you would first like to caucus. If you are undecided and would like to perhaps get wooed by the candidates by hearing some more convincing arguments, you should station yourself here in the middle or at the rear. Just be undecided. Undecided, you have the remaining two, uh, four minutes to mill around.
With seven votes, Hillary. And with eight votes, Kucinich. I'm sorry, no, 23% of the electorate, and then the following is undecided with 3% of the electorate. Yeah! Let's vote for that!